State Fair of Oklahoma starts on Thursday, runs through next weekend. The big attraction this year, as it is many years, is the food. Our food editor with the Oklahoma and the food dude himself, Dave Cathy, is here. How are you feeling? You just came out of the food judging contest? Oh, it's not my best time, but uh, my palate is happy. The rest of my body is not. <laughs> but no, it was a lot of fun. When I got here, I walked in. I was hearing a lot of, oh, so full. Because you guys don't go through one or two. There's like... 15 items. Oh yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, 15, 20 items. It's the great taste of the fair contest. It pits the vendors from all around the fair against each other. In uh, three, I th we had three uh, categories. It was the classics, the uh, most unique, and the just flat out best tasting. Let's start with the classics. The classics. Well, that, that included the cinnamon roll, and of course the long lines that you'll see when the when the fair starts will belie why that the cinnamon roll came through as a victor once again in best sweet item. So that was there was that, and then there was the uh, the the uh, strawberry delight from uh, Swice uh, that came in second in sweets. It was delicious, sort of a kind of a play on the a little bit like the strawberry Newport that we're used to. Mm -hmm. uh, very good. And uh, for the savories, the cheese curds, and these come uh, from a group out in Minnesota, Doolittle's, or, or I'm sorry, uh, D and D Concessions. Uh, they come out of Minnesota. They've been doing this for years. It's a 20 year old recipe. So yeah, it's a true classic. And these are some darn fine cheese curds. I can tell you that. Let me get this straight. Somebody from the Twin Cities is invading our right. state fair with cheese curds? You know, you know, you gotta you gotta be a little bit open minded in some of these things, you know. And it was either that or the corn dog, and we all love corn dogs. Corn dog finished second, it was great too. Get both, you'll be happy you did. Most unique. Most unique. Uh, that was a that was an interesting uh, for for the. It should be. It's unique. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you know what's funny about it is some of it was not as unique as others. I mean, okay. some of the, that were in there, but uh, the most unique sweet was the fudge puppy, which had a peanut butter filling, which, you know, anyone who knows me at all knows you got the chocolate, you got the peanut butter, you got the food, dude, happy. It's always a good combination. I think our friend at the History Center liked that as well, if yes. I remember correctly. Yeah, Michael Dean was a big fan of that, uh, and, and as everybody was, because, you know, it, it, it won, so there was that. The other the other big uh, winner there in the sweet category was the bacon-wrapped caramel apple. That uh, It was really not so much wrapped as armored <laughs> in, in bacon, and so, yeah, it's your basic caramel apple. You know. Let's think about this. Let's think ahead to when the fair opens and people are running down a crowded midway and they've got an armored bacon. <laughs> How are they going to attack this? With their teeth. And their teeth may not win because this is a sticky, crunchy, big bite of sweetness and it was really good. Okay, so that's the unique category? That's the unique category. Now, those are just the sweet. Now, the savories were, uh, we finished out with a Frosted Flakes chicken. Okay, Frosted Flakes chicken on a stick. Very good. I, I see. I didn't think this was all that unique. It was very good. It was very tasty. It's a little on the sweet side, uh, but yeah, frosted flakes in the batter, which isn't really uncommon, but it's uncommon for the fair for sure. You're used to putting breakfast cereal with your meats. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've had it before, uh, more than once. The other thing that came through was a bacon Bloody Mary. Uh, that was very interesting. I'm not a huge Bloody Mary guy, but even I sort of like. Okay, I could do this. It was good. All right, and finally, best tasting. Best tasting. Well, once again, it seems like they should probably just name the award after the Raging Cajun booth and their chicken on a stick. This year, uh, they had a bacon-wrapped chicken on a stick, and, you know, I love bacon. I love this chicken, so it was just one more lovely little adornment on a really great dish. Typically, he brings the sauces. Was that the yes, case again? Of course, and, and, and anybody who's ever had it knows it's the hot sauce. He does this hot sauce. It's fantastic. It's homemade. They sell it by the bottle. Uh, remember that, kids. Father's Day is right around the corner. Uh, yeah, the hot sauce is great, but he also does some, some milder stuff, some ranch and some mustards and stuff like that with a roll on top. Of course, a dinner roll on yes, top. Of on course, top of right, other yeah. best tasting. The other best tastings. We had, uh, we had a cookie dough parfait from... Ed Aunt Edmo's, very good, a uh, homemade uh, chocolate chip cookie served with it, and the, they use the same dough to put into the ice cream, layer it with some chocolate in there, very good. Uh, Gene Leiterman had, has a, a wonderful giant cream puff that came in second, big, if you want a big, sweet, you know, mess of deliciousness. Who doesn't? Yeah, that's that. That was the thing. And then over on the savory side, like I said, oh, we already did the savory side. So uh, we we said chicken on a stick. But what I didn't tell you is second place was the brisket melt sandwich from uh, Porky's, and it was quite good. It had a, yeah, it was you know brisket. It was sort of like a brisket grilled cheese with a little bit of horseradish. 
Outstanding. And then for the final thing that I saw them hand out, a big roll of Tums? <laughs> <laughs> yes! I have it on me. I have some Tums. I have some Tums here. I'm going to need them. And I appreciate that. There's a little goodie bag they give us. And in part of that goodie bag, Tum. It has, tum, has, tum. has absolutely do nothing to do with the, the, the taste of the food no. or the, the fine fare food that you guys tasted. No. It's just sometimes judges get in there and maybe it's their first time and they don't just stick their toe in the water. It's full on from the beginning. I see it every every year. I've been doing this for a number of years now. You're really hungry when you get in there. They bring out a delicious corn dog or something you really recognize. You scarf down the whole thing and then they say you have 17 more to go and then you need the Tums. <laughs>